Hello and welcome to this latest helium video and in this video I want to go over some of the latest updates that don't actually fit into my tutorial series and I want to take a look at the future and where helium is going uh, that should be rather interesting there's a lot of experimental features that have been included in helium lately and I wanted to give you an idea of where we're going with those and I've also been working on refining some of the existing features, in particular um, the media bay and the ability to preview clips. Now I'm sure you're aware you can long press on a clip to actually begin playback before you actually drag to the timeline. But now if you uh, single tap on an already selected clip, uh, playback will begin. And once that clip is complete, uh, playback will stop. But if you uh, uh, tap on another item while one is playing, it will actually carry on previewing, but with the newly selected item as I'm demonstrating here. notice this chord progression is quite a long one but I like the first four bars so what I'm going to do I'm going to select a loop on the timeline of four bars in length and then preview the clip again And as you can hear, it's actually looping the first four bars of the preview over and over again. So you can preview something before you actually slot it in place. Now in the previous version of Helium, uh, song mode was described as uh, experimental. But I think it's progressed a little bit past that now and it's a very usable uh, interface and a uh, great way of piecing together various loops into songs. Now if we take a look at this song progression I have below, uh, it at first appears like we have three identical clips uh, playing loop 7. But if you look at that little grid of 4x4 uh, four four dots, you'll see that they're actually different. And as you could hear they were very different now if I tap and hold on one of these clips you'll get the clip properties dialog appear and as I um, select each clip in turn you'll see that these mute buttons are different for different clips uh, so we have the ability there to actually uh, uh, bring in and out different uh, tracks within our loops uh, as and when we want now you can also rename a loop from within here and you can see that's reflected on the song grid at the bottom. Um, but if you notice those first three items they were exactly the same loop. So now you can attach a clip name to the clip itself and you'll see that uh, you'll see the loop and the associated clip name appear uh, on each of these uh, clips within the song and that gives us a very uh, uh, nice description of what that clip does so I think that's a very welcome addition to song mode now staying with song mode I want to look at uh, another thing uh, that was missing probably from the first incarnation and that although we had a good copy and paste uh, uh, facility here um, we now have a duplicate option so as you can see here, I've appended a few loops to the timeline and then I'm going into selection mode and I'm going to select those loops and then hit duplicate. Again, now we could uh, select all loops and hit duplicate again. And you see, I mean, it's, it saves a lot of time and that was missing from the initial release. So I just wanted to point out that that's now there. 
And that brings me to the next option, which is the ability to duplicate versus replicate when we're talking about notes. And I'm going to demonstrate that to you and the, the, the difference between the features because replicate was something I added to the most recent release. Uh, to demonstrate that, I'm just going to lay a few consecutive uh, quarter beat notes. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate what a duplicate did uh, in the previous version. So if I select those uh, three notes using the selection tool and then go to the clipboard and pick duplicate, you'll see that those notes are duplicated end on end. Now, to me, that's exactly what I expect duplicate to do. And I can keep on it in duplicate to create multiples of that. But supposing you wanted to duplicate a section of a song, including the spaces. Well, now you can select an area on the ruler and pick replicate. And replicate will replicate the area under the ruler. And you can just repeat that process again and again to uh, create uh, and extend your song. Now, personally, I quite like dark themes and um, that's fine for me. But some of you have been complaining about it being difficult to actually see selections. So if I make a selection here, you'll see they've got like a little ghosted shadow under the selected notes. But I admit that can be hard to see. So I've added this new invert selection option to the long press on the menu, which is a lot more, it's a lot clearer for most of you, I think. Uh, don't forget you've also got the um, uh, the uh, high contrast options and the invert colours in there. They're all system-wide options that are in that long press menu button. They are not stored with the session, they are stored as part of system settings. And that brings me to another addition in this version, which is once you make a selection on the timeline, um, you'll see this little pop-up uh, panel up here at the right-hand side that allows you to shift load notes up or down by uh, individual steps or by octaves. So I think that's something else that people have been crying out for. The next uh, option is, um, or options, are the ability to mute and solo tracks without the need to go into the mixer, because the mixer can be quite fiddly to use. So if you long press on the track button, as well as the output port and uh, MIDI channel here, we can now uh, mute and solo tracks from within here. So that's very handy for auditioning uh, the, the currently selected track on its own, or, or, or cutting that out of a mix. So uh, yeah, I think uh, that's a definite uh, benefit and one that you should be aware of. So the next option is another experimental option. Uh, it's not in its finished state right now and that is probability. Now I'm sure most of you uh, know what probability is, but for those that are unfamiliar with that terminology, I'm going to find a, um, a repetitive uh, drum loop that I can use to demonstrate this. So let's just find one in the media bay. Now if you notice I've purposely got a loop of two bars set so that when uh, I preview I only preview the two bars. But now I've dropped the uh, clip you can see there's more than two bars within the clip. Now I'm going to uh, turn on the invert selection so you can guys can see what I'm doing here but the best way to remove excess is to select what you want to keep and then tap and hold on the select button uh, invert the selection and then hit the trash can to delete the excess so just a little tip there now I'm going to start playback of this loop and just uh, resize the screen so that uh, it's a little bit more easy for you guys to see what's going on um, I can probably close the media bay uh, get a little bit more room but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into a new edit mode and this edit mode is the probability mode and you'll notice that the colours of the notes immediately change now if I tap on a note and then drag it vertically up and down you'll notice that the colour changes white is a less likelihood that that note will play red is a very high likelihood and anything in between uh, is a probability setting between 0 and 100 percent so i've just changed a few of these notes here and let's just have a listen so 
it's a great way of creating variation in your loops but just a word of warning this only really works in loop mode there's no sense in having this if you're using helium just to play a straight sequence so uh, the probability only occurs only changes when we loop okay now i want to move on to something that you guys are going to be asking about because you're going to see the additional midi port that's available in this version of helium and wonder what it's all about and so to demonstrate that i have a little partial song here uh, anyone that's seen my previous tutorials will recognize this but there's a little twist to this now i need to tell you that this is ex extremely experimental at the minute probably won't be of much use yet but it will be in the future now if I long press on the menu button, you'll notice now there's a new song out and it is enabled. Now I also have an instance of multi-track audio recorder running in the background and this has some uh, remote loops set and there's no coincidence that remote looping in Meteor works exactly the same way as remote looping in Helium. Now if we take a look at the uh, MIDI input to uh, multi-track recorder, you'll see that it's taking its input from Helium's remote output. Now what that means is that when a song is playing within Helium, uh, that song has been output, or at least the driving controller information, the notes have been output to uh, uh, multi-track and remote controlling its uh, loops too. So what you're going to hear here is just some random uh, spoken lyrics uh, playing within um, uh, multi-track recorder uh, being triggered by Helium's uh, remote output. Do you know how I feel? Because there's no doubt in my heart. This thing we have is real. And I've loved you from the start. Let's spend tonight together. Alone. Just you and me. This night is in forever, because this love is meant to be. Yes, it's deeper than an ocean, this love that we've begun. It's an all-consuming passion, as our two hearts beat as one. Okay, they might not be the best lyrics in the world, I just found them randomly online. Um, but um, they they demonstrate how uh, um, the two packages can be used to uh, overlay lyrics um, over the top of a sequence driven from uh, helium now i don't um i don't think it's a wise uh, choice to go and start experimenting with that yet but in the next version i hope to have it uh, um uh, down to a point where we can start to use this for triggering uh, other sequences and such like within uh, other packages listening to controller data coming from helium so uh, that's one for the future so I hope you found that interesting and informative. As ever, don't forget to uh, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.